Hey, 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 guys. It's June 23rd, Tuesday. Big, 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 big day for me. Um, 2 is just released. Um, it's on Bandcamp right now. Should be on Spotify, you know, Tidal Beats, Amazon, all that stuff by now. Um, still waiting on iTunes, that hasn't done yet, so sometimes that stuff takes forever, man. Always takes a long time with that stuff, but um, I will be talking about that too. First, I want to go over to a record. I want to say thank you, Derek Higgins. Thank you. This is Moon Griffin, Glimpse of Future. Really, really cool album. Um, how would I describe this? It's all instrumental. It's um, It kind of takes a while to listen. It's kind of more of an experience thing. It's really, really cool. It's on green vinyl, too. Really cool. Um, it's all instrumental, really stripped back. Kind of like, almost like a post-rock slash ambient stuff. But it's really cool to listen to. If you're really into, like, listening to detail, this is really, really good for that. So this is Moon Griffin. This came out this year. Um, Glimpse of Future. Do check that one out, because that is... It's a good one, trust me. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, onto the fetus today. I got my I have my shirt on. Um, found two things. One I was gonna go for, and then another one I just found actually um, for really cheap actually. Um, let's go with the new one, brand brand new here. Um, Breaking Benjamin, Dark Before Dawn. Got it, guys. I got it. I have it now. It's nice, nice gatefold. It's got kind of lyrics in there. Pretty cool. Very excited to listen to this. Um, they never make a bad record, you know, this is probably nothing different than that. Um, love Breaking Benjamin, love them from way, way back in the early 2000s, really love their stuff. Um, so really excited to put this on the turntable today and check that out. The next one that I got for super cheap that they actually have at the Fetus for a higher price because it's new. This is used, let me mind you. Um, so look at that tool, guys. This is a fantastic album, 2000. This is used, guys. Look at this. All right, I got this for it says $23 at the top. I got it for um, like 18 because I, after I bought Breaking Benjamin, I get five dollars off or five dollars toward used vinyl. Look at this. Uh, check this out. That's freaking sick. <laughs> Let me. It's um. And it's picture disc too, I'm gonna show you that too. This is really, really awesome. Oh yeah. Check that out. Isn't that sweet? I guess it's like that. <laughs> That's sweet. I've heard mixed things on picture disc, like it may be not the best quality and so on, but um you know, we'll give this guy a shot. You know, we'll give him a shot. Um I mean, hey, it's Tool. There's nothing bad, you know? <laughs> Once again, still waiting for them to release their new stuff. Haven't heard anything yet. Still waiting. You know, they take forever to make a record. <laughs> I mean, they're the longest out of, like, any group that I know that just takes freaking forever to get stuff done. Like, they take a year, like, five years. It's like, holy crap. I mean, but it's good, it's good material, though. They... They, they actually deliver, even though it's a freaking long, long wait. <laughs> so, very excited to put both of those on the turntable. Um, now, going back to two, the most important thing here. Um, like I said, Bandcamp, pick it up digitally, $10. Um, that is the only place right now to get it, like, if you want to pay for it right now. iTunes still isn't up yet. Um, still waiting for them. They said it was supposed to be a day. I don't know what happened, but... You never know. We'll wait it out, you know. But at, at least I have Bandcamp up so you guys can go there. Um, I always leave a link down in my uh, description box for that Bandcamp link and also my website, too. Uh, I am taking pre-orders for the CD release in July, so do do look at that. All, all you have to do is go down to my website and go to the store and then pay on PayPal, and then I'll put you in, and I'll save one for you when it does come in. Um... Once again, I'm going to be printing 20 of those. They go very, very, very quickly. Um, so if you want one, please do let me know in advance. Um, they do go really, really fast. I, 
Every CD I've released, I've sold all of them. Like, um, I have nine left of my EP, and then the first record, I have none. There's none left. I just have my copy. <laughs> that's, that's all I have. Um, so that makes me feel really, really good, you know, that someone's listening, actually. That's, that's what I want, you know. That's, like, the main thing to take away from this is that I just want to connect with somebody and say, like, have someone be like, ah, oh, it's an amazing record, nice job, and stuff. And I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, just just going in the background about the record again. I know I've talked a little a lot about this, but it's super, super... This is this is this is a tough one to really kind of um, actually put out because it's taken me so long um, for many different circumstances. Um, it was twelve tracks. Start off with Roman numerals and the track name, but you know they're so strict I had to make names. So what I wanted to do in the beginning was um, I wanted to do just a strip, straight up acoustic. You know I'm gonna limit myself to just being acoustic guitar, maybe like banjo, drums, you know, piano, anything acoustic, nothing electric, not, no synths, no beats or anything like that, just stripped down, and then last year, um, October of last year, um, I lost that special person in the, in the beginning of making the record, and um, that really took a spin on the whole, my whole viewpoint of what I wanted it to be. Um, so it originally it was stripped down, and then when that happened, I wanted it to be completely just, just dry, gutted out, and just really, really, there's like hardly anything to it, you know, because I was just feeling down, and not in, not in the mood to make anything happy, or upbeat, you know, and just, and that's still what kind of the record is, you know, I'm still not over it, you know, it's been freaking forever, October of last year. It, it takes a while, you know, I may never get over it, you know, it's one of those things. It's one of those relationships where you really, really connected with that person, you know, and the more you connect and learn about them, the harder it is whenever it's cut off, you know, because you feel really strong. I still do, you know, I still love that person very much, um, more than anything, you know, maybe... Maybe it's not the end, you know. Maybe, maybe she, maybe she will come back. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I can pray for that, right? <laughs> uh, I know I can't make any concrete <laughs> things with that, but um, I really hope it does work out that way. Um, but then going back to record with that, really dry, stripped down, just really, really depressing and sad and. Um, as you can see in the track names too, it's very still that very, um, direction I wanted to go with this one. And then after all that's going on, and then my grandpa got really, really sick in January. Um, it's, it's still hard for me to talk about, you know, it's not, not I just, I can't really accept that. And, because out of my grandparents, he was the one that was super healthy, you know, a really fit person, you know, and I just, I just, I just still don't understand, you know, why it had to happen. I didn't, you know, God has a plan for everybody, but sometimes we just don't know why this has to happen. If something's not broke, why, why do you need to just take it away, you know, and just fix it and then. I still remember, um, I know this is really hard for some people to listen to, it is for me too, but, um, we were, um, when we were taken in the hospital, um, this was back at the end of January, for the first time, um, it was, God, it was sad, I just can't tell you how sad that was to see him like that, and just this strong person, and then he could barely walk, and just, I couldn't believe it, you know, I didn't want to believe it, and we had to help him out, you know, it took us like half an hour to get out of the house, I mean, it was, it was brutal, it's very, very sad, and it was me and my uncle, we were waiting at the, at, at the door to leave, um, my mom and my grandma were getting stuff together, they weren't with us, um, but we were there and he was talking, so, uh, sorry if I get really emotional. This is really difficult. Um, 
But he said, you know, everybody thinks I won't make it back. I won't make it back here. And we said, no, don't. You know, don't, don't, don't talk like that. You'll make it back. They'll find something. You know, don't, don't talk like that. But it's like he knew. He knew what he he didn't make it back home. You know, to that home. He he made it home. You know, but not to here on earth. Um, he made it back though. He it was his time to go, I guess. You know, but in that moment, it was like, no, you know, don't say that. They'll find. Well, they'll figure this out. You know, we'll get this all straightened out. And, and he knew it was that was that was it. You know, and I didn't. I didn't really get a chance to say goodbye to him and stuff, which I regret a lot, you know. But I could have, could have skipped work, you know. What the fuck work, you know? That is, it's never first in my list with anything, anything. It goes passion work. It works like way at the bottom. It's not important to me. It it never is because if you focus all on work, you're gonna fucking run your life to the ground. It's going to eat you alive. If you make your job your life, you have fucked yourself. And I believe that. Unless it's your passion and you love what you do, that doesn't count. But if it's something where you just like punch the clock every day to just get the fuck out of there, don't do that. It's, there's a life out there beyond just fucking working your ass off. And... And it's just, it's ridiculous sometimes. Work just doesn't fucking understand that. It's so fucking stupid. Like, there's, there's this, um, there's some jobs where it's like, you know, you have, like, family leave, you know? Like, like shit like this happens, you know? And they're like, well, we can't excuse that. It's like, <laughs> what fucking heartless bastard has made this fucking rule, you know? You, you can shove that right up to where the fuck you came from on your horse up on the hill, you know? It's fucking retards, I mean. I would have skipped anyway. It's like, fuck it, I'm leaving. You can't stop me, you know? I would have damn well left. I should have, you know? I should have come. I should have said something. But, you know, maybe that, maybe God didn't want me to be there. You know, maybe he's... It would have been hard for me to do that. But, um... You know, I miss him very, very much, and... This record goes out to him, too. Him and that special person. That, those are the really two things I really put into this. And really wanted to really, really connect with those situations. So, it's 12 tracks. Um, the first six are very stripped down. Just acoustic. Um, very dismal, very sad, depressing. Nothing um, really crazy about it but then the last six get really hectic and really um start to kick in and just hit you hard and just and and for me the track names I got really really hit where that song is going so I'm really pleased that I got to do that but it starts off really really depressing and down and that gets like up to that point where it just it's almost like it's too much you know like you start off really sad and then this huge wave comes and it just hits you and it's, it's it's hard to come back from that, you know. Some things I haven't come back from. There's a lot of things I haven't bounced back from. There's many, many, many things I just can't deal with. And most things that I've done, I can't forgive myself, you know. I just can't do that. It's not, it wouldn't be right for me to let myself off that easy for what I did. And, you know, but overall, I'm really 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 pleased with this album um it's dedicated to my grandpa um you know he's home now you know he's not hurting anymore he's um he's where he's supposed to be you know he's he's fine he's probably looking down laughing at us you know <laughs> all the stupid shit that we do <laughs> he's like i left just in time you know <laughs> uh no no he's good though and then to that, to her, you know, that special person that I care about very, 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 very much and would do anything for in a heartbeat, no matter what that thing is. It's, those are the two people that really influenced this record and um, really made it what it is, so I really thank you both for that, and 
I know it wasn't on the best of circumstances, you know, which is which is sad, you know, but it really pushed me to go to that place and really take out from my heart and give it into my music like I usually do. You know, I find that I work better under sad circumstances. I put out the best music when something bad has happened, I've a loss or something in the family went wrong. It's just I feel like I get deeper into my music when it's more heart wrenching and when I'm not myself and when I'm in a spot that's a dark place that I feel like I can't get out of. Music really helps me take the good out of that, you know, out of a bad situation and express myself more when it's a hard situation, you know, that that sometimes you can't really get out of, you know? I really feel like I connect better in my music when stuff like that happens rather than making an upbeat record, you know? It's, it's harder for me to do that, I feel like, <laughs> which doesn't make much sense, I know, but um, it's... I'm really pleased with it, though. Two is just fantastic. Um, it's really, really good. Um, I loved every second of it, like, right, right in the record, and... I really hope you guys like it too, definitely, um, you know, give me feedback, you know, I'm on Facebook or anything like that on my website, you know, shoot me an email, you know, anything you guys want to say about it, because it's, it's taken a lot for me to write it, and actually put it out, that's huge for me, and, um, you know, I really, I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did, so thank you very much for pushing me to this point, and giving me the inspiration to make this and put it out and actually share what I was feeling in these times. Um, it was, it's, it's been tough, you know, it, it's still tough for me and, um, we'll get through it. <laughs> I always bounce back. I always do. It's just, it just takes time, you know, the thing that everybody hates, you know, <laughs> you gotta wait it out and just can't happen fast enough. Eh, it's alright. We get through it, don't we? 